If you're watching this video right now, you probably have the same problem as this guy with the SoundMax drivers. He doesn't have a stereo mix recorder, which is ridiculous. So I was looking at all the comments from this video, and this one right here said, oh, just download this driver. So I copied it, went to Google, pasted it there, see Google, pasted it, search. Oh, it's the very first link. Hmm, seems too easy. Let's hope it works, though. All right. Well, for the first one, for hmm, Windows 64-bit edition, you probably don't have that, but if you do, download that one. Uh, the next one's for Windows XP. Yeah, that looks like the right one. Let's just go down to check these other ones real quick. XP 64-bit again. Uh, there's a more updated version, so if you have 64-bit, go with the third option. And if you have Vista, go with the fourth option. It looks like it's still beta there, so you might want to be careful. So, for the vast majority of people out there, you go with the second option and click on USA. All right, there we go. Let's prompt you to download it. Do so, and then just install it like you'd install anything else. I'm just going to cancel because I already did. Um, down here, you'll see that it added stereo mix to the jumble of recordable devices. And you'll notice that I've turned it down to like 11 or 14 percent or whatever because when you have it too high it actually makes a scratchy noise and it doesn't sound very good. But when you have it at the, at the proper setting down here and you also keep this at a stable setting, you'll be just fine. It'll sound really good and there's no problems. Just don't turn up stereo mix all the way because that will give you problems. And I guess that's about it.